Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 squad builder. Today, I'm going to bring you guys a cheap silver squad builder that will cost you around 15,000 coins right now on Ultimate Team. Now, I did a bronze squad builder recently, and it was actually really, really good. So I thought I'd try out some silver players and see what they're like on Ultimate Team this year. And they're actually really, really good. This team was very, very good, uh, both defensively and going forwards. Really good in the midfield as well. And uh, that's probably due to the formation, the 4-5-1 first variation is really, really good because it packs the midfield. And it's a team I definitely recommend if you're looking for a cheap silver team, maybe foot champions for something like that, where you need uh, maybe a full silver team to qualify for one of the uh, the weekend league, uh, like the daily tournaments. It's a really good team for that. Also if you're using a silver cup. And you can even use it against gold teams and it will do a pretty good job there as well. Now sadly I don't have any gameplay to show you guys in today's video. That's because today... I'm recording seven videos, that's right, seven videos because I'm going away to Salamanca in Spain for a week tomorrow, so I have to make so many videos today, so that's why I don't have any gameplay, so sorry about that. Without further ado, let's go on into the team, starting off in the goalkeeper position, going to obviously be going with a silver goalkeeper and it's going to be Hubert, he's got some really good stats, over 17, all the key stats for a goalkeeper and made some pretty good saves as well. In the left back position, we're going to be going with uh, this guy here, Mubanje, uh, he plays in Ligue 1 in France and... Uh, did actually get a red card in my last game, but he's got some very, very good stats. I mean, for a silver card, they're pretty much the same stats as you'd expect on like a low-rated gold card. He's got a 75 defending, 75 physical, and 72 pace. Really, really nice stats right there. And then we're going to be using a player who gets a strong link to him, who is one of the best silver defenders on this game. And he is six foot five. It is Julien right here. 72 pace, 72 defending, and 75 physical. As I said, he is six foot five, so he wins every single header. One of the tallest defenders on this game. And the one I would definitely recommend you guys trying out. We're then going to be using a player who I believe is the only player from Cyprus on Ultimate Team. And that is Lifeist right here. Who has got some really nice stats. 67 pace, 70 defending, 70 physical. And he actually has over 60 in every other stat. So he does have a decent passing, dribbling and not the worst shooting either. Now in the right back position we're going to be going with probably the best silver right back on this game. And a player who has better stats than most right backs on Ultimate Team. And that is Svensson. He's got 83 pace, 81 physical, 70 dribbling, 70 defending, 69 passing as well, which is not bad. I mean, 81 physical and 83 pace is very, very good. And uh, he is a very strong player and very, very quick as well. Now, moving into the midfield, in the right mid position, we're going to be going with Helland. Uh, one of the best silver cards on this game. And for right mid, is uh, probably up there as the best right mid who you can get for a silver team. He's got 81 pace, 74 shooting, 74 dribbling, 69 passing. And also four star skill moves. So very, very good player. And he'll only cost you around 2,000 coins. So an absolute bargain right there. We definitely recommend him. One of the best silver players on this game. Now moving into the midfield. We're going to start off with an attacking midfielder. He does get full chemistry anyway. So I didn't really need to convert him down. And that is Balui right here. Really, really nice stats. He's got 75 pace. He's also got four star skill moves. Which is not bad at all. And he does have 75 dribbling as well. Which is pretty good. So a good kind of creative midfielder in the team. Now in the middle we're going to go with one of the best well-rounded silver cards on this game and that is Van den Treischer. He's got a really, really nice card. Uh, he plays in the Pro League in Belgium. He is French. 86 physical. That is just so high. He's so, so strong. I mean, I think that may be one of the highest physical IP stats for silver card on this game. And yeah, he's just so strong in the midfield. He's uh, not only got really good strength, he's also got really good aggression and just really good physical stats. He's also got decent pace and just a good well-rounded card. And uh, if you set him to stay back while stacking, he's going to do a great job in the midfield. Now, to complete the midfield, we're going to go with another very, very strong player. Uh, and that's actually going to be Remy right here. He used to be a centre-back back on FIFA 16, I believe. And uh, yeah, 76 pace, 72 defending, 85 physical. And having such a strong midfield right here with Remy and uh, also Valden Reicher right here, means that you can just outmuscle pretty much any player on this game, which is really good when you come up against gold teams, where generally you're going to have a lot of silver, quite quick and strong players. Having players who are so strong in the midfield means they can just muscle those people off the ball very, very easily. Now, to complete the team, we're going to be going with a hyperlink, and uh, the first player is going to be Jarvis right here from Norwich in the championship. Such a good card for a silver player. 81 pace, 78 dribbling. Sadly, he doesn't have the 5-star weak foot that he did have on previous FIFAs, but he still has 4-star weak foot, so he can put good crosses into the box, which is what you want when you do see the striker we do have in this team. And yeah, he's got good pace, good dribbling, would definitely recommend him. Now, to complete the team, we're going to be going with Cameron Jerome, one of the best silver cards on FIFA 17 by far. 82 pace, 79 physical, 70 dribbling, and 73 shooting. He's got great shot power and finishing in the penalty area. 
He's quick. He's got really, really good strength. He's strong. He's six foot one, so he can win a lot of headers in the air as well. And if you set him to stay central and target man with your two pacey wingers, who are really, really good at uh, dribbling fast players, he can put some great crosses into the box and get a lot of goals in the air. He's a very strong player, great at uh, being a kind of a hold up target man striker. He can play the ball into him with the midfield. He can hold it up and then play it over the top to your wingers. So you will generally find Helland and Jarvis getting most of the goals. That's what happened for me with Jerome. Also getting on the score sheet quite a lot, especially with headers and pretty much any loose balls in the penalty area. He will put into the back of the net. And the midfield is very, very solid as well. You've got a creative midfielder with Balloway. And then these two guys right here, just so strong. Very good defense midfielders. And then the two centre-backs, they're tall. They've got good pace, good defending, good physical. Couldn't really find any faults there. Especially Julian, so good because he's so tall. Wins every header on a corner. And you also have Mubanje and also Svensson. Now, Svensson, I'd happily use him like a goal team. He's actually so good because he's so strong. He's got great physical stats and he's really quick. And Mubanje as well. He was very, very good. Would definitely recommend him. And the keeper was pretty solid as well. The custom instructions and tactics I did use were stay back whilst attacking on the fullback. Stay back whilst attacking on Vans and Trisha. I set my wingers to stay forward, cut inside and get in behind. So they almost acted as kind of a left and right winger. Uh, which worked quite well and then I set Cameron Jerome to stay central and target man and that worked really well I did win a lot of games with this team especially against like other silver teams if you come up against silver teams you'll normally win pretty much every game I was using this in foot champions when you had to use a full silver team foot champions and it was really really good and it can also be a lot of gold teams because I have tried it in divisions and it was good against them as well so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you did I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like subscribe if you are new around here and I'll see you in my next video take care